Happy 15th anniversary to one of my favorite movie of 2009 and one of my personal favorite movie by the director named Zack Snyder. Hello everyone or good morning everyone because it's still morning in my area. This is your good old neighbor Nick Hicks by the verse and Frozen 2 and Kim possible fan 2001. Today I am doing a movie review or or we do movie review to one of my favorite superhero movie of 2009, which is none other than the legendary and the iconic classic film called Watchmen. Came out of the year of 2009. Anyway, guys, based on the story, honestly, guys, this film is a base, based on the great novel comic book based on the Watchmen. So, honestly, guys, that's the best, honestly, that's the best way you can explain about the plot. Well, guys, this is way before I re I watched this film because this film came out in two thousand nine, which I was honestly I was a little kid. I mean, a little kid since this film came out because anyway, and back then I was too young to watch rated R movie. But I swear, if I watched rated R movie in my younger childhood time, yeah, it would be the end of me, which, yeah, honestly, guys, it can show that do not watch rated R movie while you a little kid because this film is not a kid's film. So please don't say it's a kid's film. It's like, uh, uh, honestly, it's like people saying Deadpool movie is a kid's film because it's a superhero movie. Just because you have a superhero genre that didn't mean it's a kid's film, don't it? Use your common sense, people. Use your common sense. Not quite. Anyway, guys, anyway. And since this film came out, a lot of the people really enjoy this film. But not for the critics, sadly. But don't worry, this film did not get bad review. Because this film, I gotta be honest, but this film got a 65% on Rotten Tomatoes. And this film got a 71% for the audience. And I gotta say, but I definitely agree with the fan base. Because this film has some huge, major fan base. And this, and this is where, I mean, this is where the Snyder fan was not toxic until now. Which... I do not want to think about those crowns. Honestly, guys, those are evil words just by defending some others. I don't want to think about those crowns. Those are such a knucklehead. Anyway, guys, so after I watched this film years ago, I got sad, but this film is a very good superhero movie. But more I think about it, and more I just really think it's even better than the Avatar that came out in 2009, which is pretty fair comparison, so it's not insult, so don't worry. Anyway... I got sad, but I think Watchmen is way better than Avatar's. Whoa, 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 Avatar fan. Don't attack me, don't, uh, honestly, and don't laugh at me in the comment. Guys, I like Avatar's. Avatar's is one of my favorite movies by, Jam by James, um, James Cameron, I must have said. So, James Cameron. Even James Cameron is a very awesome director. I do, I, 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 I do like his film. Honestly, I do like his film, which is The Aliens, I mean The Aliens 2, Titanic, Avatars, and, honestly, and, and one of my favorite movies that he ever did in his entire life, which is none than the sequel from the first Avatar movie called The Avatar The Way of Water, aka Ouija Gaming Wars movie of 2022, which, do you honestly think that Avatar The Way of Water is way worse than Morbius? That is a insult in comparison, don't you ever do that again. Anyway, guys, and even I totally respect his opinion on Avatar The Way to Water, but I just don't understand why he think that film is way worse than Morbius. No, well, honestly, Morbius is true. The worst movie of 2022, which I might do a win of that film before I watch The Metal Web, which, yeah, I'm not looking forward to watching Metal Web. But even I am support with female, because female, I, I mean, female deserve more respect than male, honestly. 
but I gotta be honest, but matter of well, what right. I, I mean I mean I mean could be could be another the Marvel. But if uh, honestly, if Metal Web would be another Morbius, I'm gonna be done with the Sony Spider Man movie because you cannot, you can, uh, 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 honestly, you cannot make a Spider Man movie without Spider Man. That's not how it works, dummy. And anyway, guys, I gotta say, but this film is a really, is a really epic, brilliant masterpiece. I freaking really love this film so freaking much. But I gotta be honest. But this film is officially is one of my favorite movie of 2009 and one of my favorite movie movie by Zack Snyder. And I'm going to be honest, before I talk about this movie, we have to talk about the director named Zack Snyder. Zack Snyder, on the guy, I'm sure Zack Snyder is not my favorite movie director because there are, uh, uh, on the guy, there are way, uh, I'm sorry, there are way more movie directors that I think is way better. But the director of Kim Possible Souls of Drama, but the director of Frozen 2, like Jennifer Lee and Chris Buck, or even Chris Nolan from Op, I mean from Oppenheimer, or even Chris Buck and the other girl that she direct of Disney Wish. I gotta be honest, and on the guy, and even the director of Across the Spider Verse, aka one of my favorite movies of all time, and just because I talk about Kim Possible, I mean, I, I, on the guy, and just I, on the guy, and just because I talk about KB all the time, it didn't, on the guy, it did not mean I, I, I mean, it didn't mean I'm ditching on Across the Spider Verse, which I am not sure band together fans that want to stop comparing, I'm sorry, and stop comparing to him, like, an, I, I mean, I mean, compare to him and to me, I quit, and so yeah. I gotta be honest, but this film is officially is one of my mm, one of my favorite superhero movie of two thousand nine. Oh my goodness, what else has to say about this film? What else has to say about this film? But honestly, guys, I do want to talk about this film, but I do not want my video to get a twenty minute video because every time every time that happened, I have to saturate my video, which saturate my video and make my video awful. And so yeah, and honestly, guys, and after I saw the trailer, the TV spot, and the marketing, and after I finally watched this film, I gotta be honest, but this film is a very good and a very and a very fantastic start to the Red It All comic book movie. Without this film, we honestly we are never gonna get Deadpool one and two. We are never gonna get the Suicide Squad directed by James Gunn because honestly, guys, without this film, the superhero Red It All movie, I mean Red It All superhero movies would not be the same without Watchmen. The same thing with Dill Devil, because without Dill Devil, we won't have any of the TVMA superhero shows that ever exist. On the guy, without Dill Devil, yup, uh, on the guy, the TVMA superhero shows would not be the same without Dill Devil. And the same thing with this film, because without Watchmen, they w I mean, the rated all superhero movie won't be the same without Watchmen. And so, hey, guys, and we got so I'm on on the instant on the and now we're gonna get I'm sorry, and now we're gonna talk about some of the people that who really love this film like Robbie Storm and some of the movie critics who think this film and even Chris Duncan Nice really enjoyed this film and I definitely agree because this film is a very fantastic and such a really classic film and a very iconic movie by Zack Snyder but I gotta be honest but I still haven't seen honestly I still haven't seen. 300, but I gotta, I, I gotta be honest, but what's hope 300 will be my new favorite Zack Snyder movie because I hope that film is a very, is a very good 2007 movie in the fifth, in the very, sorry guys, it's just great one up. Anyway, back to saying, sorry guys, I just heard that 300 is even better than Meet the Spartan, which is the parody of 300, which that, honestly, I don't want to talk about that film, so let's move on. Anyway. Honestly, guys, do I have any good thing about this film? Uh, honestly, yes, I do. And do I have any negative about this film? Absolutely not. But if I think one more, I'm sorry, if I think one problem I have, I mean, I have for this film, honestly, guys, it will make myself as a terrible movie critic. I don't deserve to work at the film industry. And to be honest, I hate good movie. I mean, I mean, I hate good movie. Yep, I hate good movie. Yeah, anyway, God, I was just <clears throat> I was just doing it for comedy purposes. I'm not trying to copy um twelve band together for into as one went in the first or two, which that's the type of video I just really want to get it out of my head, so screw that video. Anyway, enough for the ado. Let's talk about I mean, let's talk about how underrated this movie is and let's talk about how good this film is. Yes, yes, I call this film underrated because I got some people out there think this film is overrated. So my payback, I'm gonna call this film over I I, I mean underrated. So hey guys, the story is a very good story based on the comic book, 
I, I mean, based on the comic book of The Watchmen, and I am never going to watch The Watchmen HBO show because that show had nothing to do with The Watchmen on Sun, on, on, on Sun because that show just turned into like a KKK shows, which this is not a KKK show. I'll say, uh, uh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, guys. What the heck am I watching? Am I watching Watchmen HBO shows or... Or, oh my goodness, or am I watching a terrible decade which is the 1950s, which 1950s is honestly one of the worst decades that I, that I, I have ever seen. Thank goodness the Lord I was born to that one. So thank goodness I don't, <clears throat> and thank goodness I don't have to experience of the stupid racism, which I might do a rant of the racism maybe pretty soon. But maybe we'll see. Let's talk about this film. Anyway. And anyway, guys, in the characters, I like every single character, but my favorite character in the film, which is another than Sally Jupiter. I gotta say, but she is one heck of the beauty. And I gotta be honest, but she's officially is one of my favorite female character crush I ever seen. Yup, even better than the girl from the Avatar movies. And I guess I, I gotta be honest, but her suit is really beautiful. Was really beautiful. Like, mwah, chef kiss. I love it. And now we're going to get to hour two. Play by Patrick Wilson. I got to be honest, but this is the main reason why I still support Patrick Wilson. And I got to be honest, but Patrick Wilson is officially is one of my... I, uh, I want to say it's my top ten favorite... Bo I, mean, I mean, favorite movie actor. But I got to be honest, but Patrick Wilson is on... You know what, scratch that. We're going to put Patrick Wilson as one of my top 10 favorite movie actor of all time was because Patrick Wilson is a very iconic character. I, I mean, the very iconic actors. But I've got to be honest, but him as our, our two. And yes, I don't understand why some people compare to him into Ben Affleck's Batman. I've got to be honest, but yeah, sure, Ben Affleck's Batman kind of remind me of our two because of the costume. But I've got to be honest, but that is an insult in comparison. But if Ben Affleck saw that comparison, he would be really mad about it. So don't mess with Ben Affleck, people. Don't mess with Ben Affleck. Hold on a minute. <laughs> My apology, everyone. It was just my laundry ready into my room and um, <clears throat> and do some laundry with my clothes. Anyway, back honestly, let's get back where we talk about this film. Honestly, if you compare it to Al to to Ben Affleck Batman, I gotta be honest. But if Ben Affleck see that comparison, he will be really mad. So don't mess with Ben Affleck, or else he will mess with you big time. Anyway, and honestly, guys, and not just Jupiter, which. I love that name. Honestly, guys, it's kind of mummy of the movie called The Jupiter Ascended. Honestly, guys, the movie started Minute Kunis and Chatty Tenum, which, yeah, that film works really bad. So I might watch that film and I might do a rant of that film. So let's hope that film will be my new worst movie of 2015. Which, let's hope that film will be, um, <clears throat> will be, uh, honestly, guys, will be even worse than Fantastic Four 2015, which even I think Fantastic Four 2015 is worse. But I heard, Jup I, I, honestly, I heard Jupiter Ascending is honestly one of the worst movies. 2015 so yeah anyway and on the guys and now we're gonna get to the guy that who wearing the suit wearing the hat and on uh, uh, the guy in his max it's kind of mummy of the dog from the 101 down nation which i forgot what's his character name which is really complicated so let's talk about the actor name so i think his actor name which is none than the jackie snyder so play by jackie snyder and now we're gonna get to the characters play by Jackie Snyder's. I got a sad, but his characters is absolutely dark, absolutely mysterious, and very brutal. Especially, I'm sorry, especially with the scene when he break the prisoner's fingers. I gotta be honest. He, uh, uh, the guy, when that guy say, "Ow," I mean, "Ow," honestly, guys, that scene is. Too hard to watch. Too hard to watch, honestly. Yeah, honestly, guys, this is the main reason why. <laughs> this is the main reason. Honestly, guys, this is the main reason why that people was having trouble. Having trouble to watch this film because this film have one of the most disturbing scenes that. Uh, uh, I mean, that you ever seen in the superhero movie. Honestly, guys, especially when that guy with the suit and all the guy go to that machine and all of a sudden when he screamed like, ah. And his um and his uh, I mean his blood I, I I mean he turned into like a skeleton. I gotta be honest, but that scene is kind of brutal, honestly. And the same thing I'm sorry, honestly, and the same thing with that guy that who's wearing a hat and kind of max kind of remember one hundred one down nation and wearing the suit. Uh, I, I mean. <laughs> 
I mean, I break that guy's fingers. I gotta be honest, but those two scene is one of my. I'm sorry, is one of the most, one of the most movie scene that I was having trouble to see because it is too hard to watch. So it's too hard to watch. Anyway, and I, anyway, guys, and now we're gonna get to the odds guy. And now we're gonna get to the characters. His name is Doctor Masari Hamidi, which I'm really sorry I pronounced his name. So I'm very sorry. My apology. Anyway, he's a really a. Honestly, he's a very amazing blue character. And I can be honest, but he's honestly is one of my second favorite characters by a blue guy. Because honestly, my number one is Dr. Dragon from Kim Possible. Yep, Dr. Dragon from Kim Possible will always be my favorite character by with the blue skin. Because I can be honest, but him is in the close second. But I can be honest, but I am casting Dr. Dragon as the guy that who is blue and wearing a <clears throat> and wearing a mark in his forehead and his eyes is really white honestly yeah i'm not trying to be racist so sorry anyway guys and now we're going to get to the characters that he really like crashing joke and he's really serious in this war i gotta be honest but here i mean him with the cigarette in his mouth i gotta be honest but he's a really amazing character especially when he grabbed the machine gun and fired the armies uh, <laughs> i mean the fire of the army and the die on their hands i gotta be honest but that scene was kind of brutal honestly and the same thing but all the same it's just too hard to watch so i feel sorry i just say that so my apology anyway and now we're gonna honestly and now we're gonna get to the villain in the movie which is neither than the one guy he I mean, who played by Matthew Gordon. I can be honest, but this is easily is one of my favorite performances by Matthew Gordon. Matthew Gordon did a wonderful job with his performance. And I can be honest, but he's, I mean, his officially is one of my favorite villains of the Zack Snyder film. Even better than, um, than, uh, Stephen Wolf from Zack Snyder. Just the, yeah, I'm just going to forget the 2017 version. So, honestly, guy, he's, uh, honestly, guy, he broke right down and worked bad. I, I mean, he worked like Daniel worked bad. I'm gonna really be honest. And anyway, I gotta be honest, but the guy who is the villain of the movie, played by Matthew Gordon, and I gotta be honest, but he is officially is one of my favorite villain of 2009, next to the villain from Avatar's which I'm probably you know the guys say, we're not in Kennedy anymore. We're in Pandora. And I mean, in the sequel, say the one question is, why are we so blue? I gotta be honest, but on the guy, his quote. And Avatar 2, I gotta be honest, but that scene is... I'm sorry, honestly, guys, that scene is even better than the first Avatar movie, so yeah. Anyway, we're gonna talk about the villain in the movie. I have to talk about the villain in the movie because this is honestly is one of my favorite villains of 2009. I gotta be honest, but this is even better than most of the villains that we got in 2009. I mean, in 2009, right? Some of the generic villain and some of the villain that you feel justified and now you think it's really... I mean, corny, honestly. And I'll be honest, but him as a villain with the Max kind of made me a bad man woman, honestly. But he did is one of, I mean, he did one of his best performances that he ever did, I mean, that he ever did in his career. And now we're going to talk about the special effects and the production design. I'll be honest, but the production and design and the, and the visual effects I, honestly, I gotta be honest, but this film deserved to be nominated for Best Visual Effects. I gotta be honest, but this is easily is one of the best visual effects I ever seen for a superhero movies. And this is the best visual effects I have ever seen for a comic book movie of 2009. But even I think Across the Spider-Verse have one of the best visual effects I ever seen for a comic book movies. And I, honestly, I gotta be honest, but this film is officially, it's, honestly, it's officially is one of my top 10 favorite, com I mean, favorite comic book movies I ever seen in my entire life, period. Anyway, guys, in the climax, this is has to be is one of my favorite scenes in this film. The climax is very iconic. In the song called Hallelujah by Renato Cohen, I gotta be honest, this is easily is one of my favorite favorite song by Renato Cohen. And this is the main reason why that Renato Cohen is such a legendary singer and rest in peace of that guy because honestly guys, Rufus Way Way people, I'm not talking about Rufus from Kim Possible, I'm not stupid, no. I'm talking about Rufus Way Way which is the same guy that who sang the song by Renato Cohen. And I gotta be honest, but thankfully that Rufus Way Way have a, have, I mean have a Renato Cohen hat at, I mean, as his legacy. And I can be honest, but only those two, I mean, those two pay respect for Winona Coleman. Winona Coleman was a very amazing singer. And it's, honestly, it feels so sad back in eight years ago, he sadly passed away on, 
on November, which is the Thanksgiving month, which I just feel sorry for when out of Coleman. I cannot believe why he passed away, which honestly, I already know that's wife, but yeah, I just feel so sad that one of the, uh, <clears throat> one of, um, one of the most artists that who sing Hallelujah, sing all the song, and thankfully that Zack Snyder really loved the song, which I definitely agree with you, Zack Snyder. Honestly, God, I don't understand why some of the usual name of Thing Studio call Hallelujah overrated. It can show that you did not go to church. It can show that you are not a you are not a Jesus person because I'm a Jesus person. Jesus loved the song, and I can be honest, but Hallelujah is the most popular song in heaven now. And so yeah, and all the guys, and that song is even better than the than most than most of the song of 2009, honestly. Andy action scene. This is has to be is one of the most brutal and very violent action scene I have ever seen in a comic book movie because the action scene is really brutal. The same thing with Deadpool 1 and 2 in the Suicide Squad directed by James Gunn. And now we're going to talk about the kiss scene when Owl 2 and Sally Jupiter kiss scene why did an explosion and turned them into like a skeleton. It's just like the guy who turned... <clears throat> he... I mean, who I mean, who turned into like a skeleton? I gotta be honest, but that kiss scene when Jupiter kissed Owl Two, I gotta say, but even Watchmen have nothing to do with the troll movies. I gotta be honest, but I'm doing this for payback for troll band together fans as well. Another payback for what he did in his rant on Frozen Two. But I gotta be honest, I'm doing it right now. I think Jupiter and Owl Two kissing in Watchmen is way better than Poppy and Branch kissing. And troll band together. Yeah, I said it. Troll band together. Fans of one. I said Jupiter and Owl Two kissing is a lot better than Poppy and Branch kissing in the troll movies. Yeah, take that, you troll band together. Fans of the one, you big baby. Me. Oh my god, I cannot stand that. No, go ahead. It's disgusting. All that. Uh, uh, I got his smiling. Oh my god. Ugh, it's so disgusting. It's so disgusting. So, over guys, Watchmen is a very iconic film. Whatever original story, likable characters, a brutal action scene. Honestly, guys, the visual effects is honestly one of the best visual effects I've ever seen for 2009 movie. I mean, for a 2009 movie. And I gotta be honest, but this film is way better than Transformers Revenge of the Fallen, Dragon Ball Revolution, and definitely way better than Final Destination from 2009. Yes, I watched the Final Destination 2009, and I gotta be honest, but that film, oh my god, that film is one of the worst horror movie of 2009. And I will do a win of that film reading, I'm sorry, for my Halloween review week, because I got a lot of schedule for upcoming for Halloween Review Week. So, I'm gonna give, honestly, I'm gonna give the Zack Snyder film called Watchmen a 10 out of 10. This is an epic, brilliant masterpiece, and I'm giving this iconic Red It All movie a seal of Nick Cage awesomeness. Even I think, honestly, even I think Oppenheimer is my favorite movie, Red It All movie ever, but Watchmen is now, is in a close second. So, this review is done. So you guys, that was my review review on Watchmen. So tell me about your opinion on this film on the comment section below. And chill for the 15 years since this film came out. And yes, I'm holding a visible cup for my chewing. Chill. Ding. Yup. Uh, oops, excuse me, I puff. <laughs> yes, it's a fake puff, so I just write to it for comedy purposes. So don't take that thing way too seriously. Okay, don't. Anyway. If you enjoyed this video, if you want to see more of this Watchmen video in the future, please, I highly recommend you hit the subscribe button, turn notification, and share the video with your whole family. And stay tuned for my tune style of the Watchmen, which I'm going to post it on the YouTube community tab, and I will definitely post it on Instagram. And honestly, I'm probably some people are going to say, Nick, why on earth you're not doing tune style cast video? Guys, do you remember, honestly, do you remember when I did it in that video? I gotta be honest, but that film, I'm sorry, that video is a full copyright. And honestly, you need to blame on YouTube for that. Because YouTube, it just do not want me to come back to do some Toon Style Cast video. Which I really enjoy to make that video. But honestly, guys, I do remember first I did it. And the editing and iMovie is completely different now. So that's why I decided to do my Toon Style of the pictures more than doing Toon Style Cast video. So I really hope people will understand that because honestly here's something it's really changed sometimes so i might do my problem what i movie because sometimes my movie is a really pain i'm a behind so yeah anyway guys if you enjoyed the video if you want to see more of this jupiter i mean jupiter and owl to kissing in that video i mean i mean in that movie 
movie, please, I highly recommend you to hit the subscribe button, hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification, and share this video with your horror dog. Do not share this video with your family because this film is not a kid's film. So, so this film is not a kid's film. So, don't watch your kids. Watch it. Yeah, do not want your kids to watch this movie because this, I, I mean, this film was called Kids for Life and kids won't understand why this film is even darker. This is the main reason why generation, I'm sorry, this is the main reason why, uh, this is the main reason why the general audience, I, I mean, just didn't even care about Zack Snyder, which you are the same audience that you really enjoy 300 and some of the film like The Legend of the Guardian, The Hour I Who, which... Even I think, I, I, honestly, even I think, I'm sorry, even I think that film is all right now. But I gotta be honest, but honestly, at least it's way better than Sucker Punch and even Weather Moon. <laughs> Do you want to think about it? I don't know what's like that movie. I even seen my wife. Sorry, guys. Have a great morning, everyone. And I see you guys next time. And once again, yaddy and yaddy